Hi Aries, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. I was getting the name Tony really strong when I was picking up the deck. Also, some of you definitely need to get more sleep or more rest, even if you have to take a nap or something if possible, but <clears throat> I get like trying different things to fall asleep, herbs or like oils, like lavender oil or having a sound machine in your room might help you get more sleep. But let's see, what is going on for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? We have the world, a new beginning. Some of you may like hiking or go hiking or something or plan to go hiking. The Nine of Wands felt like that for some reason today. Someone may have secret feelings for you and they may be tired of hiding them. Your outcomes though, I like your outcome, the lovers being here. It's like somebody is tired of hiding this, the way his back is to us. So, oops, I pulled the extra one. We're gonna. Take it, yeah, somebody, okay, because Seven of Wands can be secretive in this reading, or this deck, I, should, I mean, like, don't come in my room, don't come in here, I'm not going to show you what, what I have, I don't want people to know about this. Someone's been really good at keeping a secret. You know what's interesting, that it's been coming up in the reading this week, Pisces, I think, had that, I think Aquarius did too, but it's like, um, keeping a secret for a while, or someone's been keeping a secret, maybe it's you or them or something, But I guess someone's tired of keeping the secret. They're tired of hiding something. What is this Eight of Cups? Could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Sagittarius. Someone's going to speak their truth. You're getting it too in your reading. I'm seeing somebody is revealing something. They're saying something. They want to start <clears throat> something different or something new with you or something along that line. What is the Seven of Swords? Okay, someone's tired of not moving forward. Look at, under the deck is the Ace of Coin. It's like wanting to, it's interesting. I was gonna say something like wipe the slate clean, like start over from scratch, but when I go to say it, it doesn't feel right. So it's not quite that dramatic. But someone's fighting or they're angry that things aren't moving forward. And this could be you, Aries. It could be that you, have, you are in a secret affair. This is a secret love affair and you're tired, things aren't moving forward, or they're tired, things aren't moving forward. Because all of these are, I kind of get the feeling like, okay, don't worry about it, things are gonna work out, they'll be fine, we're just gonna keep this you know, quiet. People don't need to know. But there's frustration here. Someone is frustrated that things are st st stagnant, you can say, or, or stale, or what is the Nine of Wands? You may meet this person um, on a regular or semi-regular basis. Uh, they may be at a distance. You may see them when they fly into your city or something. I gotta take a sip here. Or something like that. Could have something to do with traveling back and forth for someone, but. <clears throat> this is something hidden and it's like, because it's hidden, it doesn't go anywhere. But also, I do see somebody, I feel like you, if you have been apart from this person and it does take an airplane ride to get there to them or them to you, you are going to be seeing them soon. This always tells me someone is in a relationship and they're unhappy. Okay. Page of swords, ten of coins. It could be because of money. Maybe children, but it doesn't need to be. <clears throat> so holding on. Okay, so I'm seeing frustration on someone's part. Like this is not going anywhere because the person refuses to get out of the connection. They refuse to do anything. I see you being with this person soon. Um, what is the hangman over here? They're worried. Now, sometimes in the Knight of Wands is children, but it's older children, like teenagers. Something like that. That could be also what I'm seeing here. Someone is staying for the kids, but worried about moving on. See that? Worried about moving on to be with you. So what is this person trying to tell you in this reading then? What is this? You guys are going to come together, but there's still this out in the cold. Or they're missing you. So they are missing you. They feel out in the cold without you because they're unhappy in the connection they're in. But they're worried about, you know, and also five of wands can be gossip and arguing. Seven of swords is there. They're going to tell you they're sorry. You know, they can't give you what you want. 
I feel like you're, I mean, you're not mean to be happy with the situation, Aries, but you are, you know, standing tall. I mean, she looks, always looks a little pissed off to me, but you may second guess this connection over the weekend and feel, see if it's worth it. They're also telling you they're not sleeping with whoever they're with, whoever they're, you know, I don't want to say married because they may be married, but or not, whatever their relationship is. They may be saying they're not sleeping with them. That's why I have the three of coins and not like the three of cups. They're going to tell you something next time you see them. It should be soon. They're going to tell you, it doesn't, I don't, I see the tower under the deck, but I don't feel like they're going to necessary. Well, they may be telling you they want a brand new beginning with you. They want to leave this other person. They're stuck. They're tired of being stuck. They're tired of trying to be happy when they're living in an illusion. They're trying to be strong, but it's getting to the point where they feel like it's not worth it anymore. I almost felt like for a minute they, they would do something rash, like they wouldn't think things through and just like tell everyone, but I don't get they're going to do that. When I, when I see the King of Swords and the Ace of Swords, that is somebody who thinks things through and doesn't just do things um, because they feel like it. Again, I feel like they're going to be, they're, you're going to see this person possibly as soon as this weekend, maybe the following weekend. I feel like you're going to have to make some sort of decision on your own. Like you're going to decide what you want to do. So again, I don't know if this connection is, I don't get it's changing at this point. I get this person may know you're upset. They want to be with you. They miss you. They're telling you they're going to stay in the other connection at this point because of the kids, the money, the home, the business, whatever. Uh, but friendship, it says this friendship is leading to something more. It's funny. They're calling it a friendship. So it's some, obviously some sort of situationship. So friendship, there is denial. Denial. Denying that they are married or in a marriage and on different pages. And there's obstacles. Now, they could be on different pages with their spouse, you know, whoever they're, quote, married to. Um, and there's a lot of obstacles. They're saying go slow. Okay, so that tells me that when you see this person, you're going to be very excited. But then you might be slightly disappointed. However, I don't see you being super disappointed in this reading. I feel like you're questioning this. You will get some, some sort of new information with this person. I don't know if you feel like you're going around in circles and this is... You know, time to cut this off. I don't see that. No, you have hope. Okay, you are feeling like you're stuck, but you do have some sort of hope. So that tells me some sort of new information is coming out, meaning this person is going to tell you something different, something new. I get there's a lot of arguing between this person and whoever they're with. What else do we need to know about this spirit? What else does Aries need to know about this connection? the ring so that can be like a commitment with a woman journaling writing things down is confusing blocked over and over the whip card there's messages communication traveling with the gentleman seeing each other and hoping hoping for this person so you may Okay, I'm feeling like you haven't seen this person in a little while. It could be months, uh, maybe even longer. I feel like you will have some sort of information regarding this connection coming up here in the next two weeks. This person is giving you hope. You've got it to me in both decks, star. But there, when the more you think about this connection, you feel confused and blocked. But you will get information that may give you... I don't want to use the word hope. I don't want to say like, but I think it's going to give you clarity because I can see here, like you're in a good spot. Like I feel like you can see things for what they are. I feel like this person, they're going to be sad. They're going to be drama. They want, they're want. they going to say sorry. They're going to be very physical with you and all that. But I do feel like this right here is you having more clarity about what you want to do with this connection. So it's not very helpful, I know, overall right now, but I feel talking to this person will be helpful. Something, I feel like this person wants to spend more time with you. I feel like they want to be seen out and about with you. Even, 
Like in the past, it feels like they don't want to go out and be seen. They're, they're worried people are watching or see them with you or something. I feel like they kind of don't care. That might not make sense to everyone, but um, having the courage, Aspen Spirit, they might be a Leo to be flexible. The courage to be flexible, because I feel like you have the power in this connection for a new beginning. Under the deck, it does say bright future. That is so interesting because there's something else going on here. The seven of cups with the two of swords and the three of coins. There's something here where you are going to have to kind of change your viewpoint and be flexible, but yet you hold the power to change this connection into a new beginning or change it in some way. You're going to receive some sort of information from this person. I get this person maybe separating from their spouse. Maybe they're going to be living closer to you. I don't think for the majority of you, the spouse knows about you, but I do feel like for some of you, they did find out. There was something said or they saw something possibly, but not for all of you. I feel like them and this person, this King of Swords and their person, their spouse is, um, again, they're on... They want to separate, they want to divorce, but there's something, um, different pages, probably about the kids or money or something. I don't know, something shifted in that relationship. That's what I'm getting strongly now. And they want to come towards you. And even though they're worried about this, there is some sort of shift in this. That's going to obviously favor you. But I feel like you're the one in power. You, you've been in power in a sense, even though maybe you don't feel like it. Maybe you feel like a third party, you feel like on the outside, but you're the one who is held your like strength, your integrity. And though you don't want to live without this person, you could, and you may have to make that decision. I don't necessarily see it in this reading. I'm just feeling like nine of coins. She is independent. So, all right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Have a great week, Aries.